What's up, guys? McDonald's back here with a brand new video. My demonic journeys are still continuing, but it's taking a bit to roll the perfect build. So we're going to take a segue for a second and do a completely different character and different build, building up our very first agi base character of Burning Crusade. I'm going to take a ranger build for the first time in a while, all the way to max and beyond, and we'll see how we can do with a pretty unique build and some awesome brand new epic enchants. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get into it. Okay, guys, so we're playing a ranger build. We're going to be doing some interesting stuff. I've already gone leveling to five so far. We're going to level pretty normal. Might use some XP pots, but I'm going to go the normal way with the PvP and the dungeons along the way. Not just a 15 to 70 group. I just want to do that so I can do some high risk and enjoy and really play out the build. Uh, in terms of the build, though, we are going to be starting with the following abilities. I'll just show you right here. Uh, Arcane Shot, Auto Shot, Sinister Strike for the Slice and Dice, Aim Shot Guaranteed, and the Berserker Stance, Death Wish, and Explosive trap now for the lucky cards i've gone for rock biter weapon true shot aura steady shot and multi shot and we're gonna be going for this epic enchant with this video compound power this combines the rogue concept with a hunter concept allowing my steady shot and arcane shot to award combo points and making it to where slice and dice gives me ranged attack speed as well really really interesting now aim shot is also going to transform into compound shot this is going to be like a ranged eviscerate that scales with my aim shot so pretty interesting if you think about it just as like a ranged archetype in general right so i'm pretty excited to get this going i'm hoping it's going to be good in pvp as well no concussive shot early because ultimately i do want to make it to max start getting our agi gear for the first time with this expansion and uh, do some pretty heavy aoe damage now they did come out with some brand new ways for ranger builds to do aoe trick shot says when multi shot hits three or more targets my aim shot so compound power in this case will ricochet and hit up to five targets for 20 percent increased damage also works on the arcane shot i think that is really made for this and we've also got this which i just want to see it might not be good but it might be good and that's the flare strike strike flares transformed into flare strike which after five seconds blows up and scales with my volley in general volley another aoe spell that i'm really hoping i get and we can also get things like light them up which is so cool multi-shot does more damage against targets afflicted by flare so you can already see trick shots flare and light them up all go together for what i'm hoping is a lot of m plus dps in the aoe department that is the goal but again we're going to be doing some war song gulch or whatever bgs we get into along the way and i'm really really hoping that we're going to be able to pump some damage or or if we don't at least you guys can find out with me that it's not so great in that regard but i've got my green santa hat which means i'm guaranteed uh the whole legendary enchant as soon as i can get it and that's probably the most exciting part so let's go ahead and keep leveling and we'll see what abilities we get along the way if they make a difference and uh also what we can do with it this is going to be an interesting theory craft because i have not done a ranger build in a very long time but i have learned quite a lot uh for how to do these types of builds in videos from like six months ago that i simply have haven't been able to put to test in a real video yet so i'm hoping this one comes out pretty strong the wing clip's pretty interesting i could be greedy and hold out for concussive shot but at least for early game i think it's worth taking it scales with range jp and it's a 10 second slow as a range build, a slow is pretty good no matter where you're getting it, so I'm gonna go for it. Level 12 right now, the other ability we got at level 10 was Healing Wave. I'll definitely take that. I'm going real slow, no XP pods right now, but I do have the Ribbon Dance for 10% more XP because of the Midsummer Fire Festival. So I'm on my way to Razor Hill right now to get to 15 and hopefully start queuing for some dungeons and then also getting into BGs and prepping myself up with some gear. So I'm level 27 right now. Compound Shot is accomplished and uh, yeah, I've been testing this out to pretty decent effect playing a range build in pvp is just kind of bonkers you know uh, especially in pgs something like this especially because nobody's going to be able to get to you and you just get to wail on people from behind my damage is not at its peak for sure yet though because we have a very slow way of generating combo points you can see it's just the arcane shot no steady shot and we don't even have access to some rogue talents that could potentially help with this as well so uh, especially switching targets that could definitely be bad so i do want to stay on this titanic clown guy i'm trying to build up combo points because he's dying slow uh he might die here though 
All right, let's go for this. And then a four point a 121 crit. Hey, at least it killed him, dude. So you can see we have quite a ways to go when it comes to damage right now in PvP. Some of these little guys, it's not too bad, but it's also, you know, it's a little one. So uh, there's a compound shot. Boom, 92, no crit dead. I really like the animation of compound shot. I don't know if it's the same as aim shot, but I don't recognize it. So it at least stands out to me right now. And it seems like a one combo point compound shot is not horrible. Like, look, boom, 23, 86, actually. I didn't see it. Okay, fine, 86. That's actually not too bad right now. Now. now, one thing I picked up was stealth. Um, I've always, always wanted an archer build that centered around stealth. Forbidden techniques isn't it because they force you back into melee with the ambush, which is lame. I was really hoping that ambush would take some kind of ranged uh, aspect to it. I, I don't know. It could be OP, of course, but that's what balancing is for. I will say we might be able to do some pretty wonky things with the non-AOE uh, random enchants out there with things like multi-shot if we can land it. You could just tell if I had more combo points, just a little bit more speed, maybe a lower cooldown on arcane shot it would be intense man actually i thought i was right i guess i was kind of still right so i have nine kills total on my team i'm 5-1 right now but we only have 34 points i actually think i'm not even getting that much xp from being here all right guys so overall we got to level 44 in a bunch of different bgs i noticed that my damage is quite low i was able to keep up with other people by lieu of being a ranged class and sitting in the back and just pumping the entire time but overall the amount of effort i was putting into my play wasn't really translating into a lot of damage or just, you know, overall uh, just an impressive performance. So what I think I need to do and what I'm more excited to do, if I'm honest with you, is just to get to level 70 at this point and see if we can pull all the crazy AoE stuff and then dominate in some 1v1. That is really the main thing. Start gearing the Agi character and see what compound power can really do at max because overall, Ascension didn't scale it properly while leveling, so it's not really like you're playing a real spec right now, in my opinion. Which is kind of sad considering how fun the spec actually is to play i will just explain it real quick essentially i am literally spamming sinister strike from afar and then eviscerating from afar that's how i like to look at it at least uh, i do actually end up getting the steady shot you can see in some of these clips here that's a castable ranged attack spell it's kind of like using a spell yeah uh but no you're actually doing ranged ap damage instead 137 percent weapon damage and if i can get the concussive shot it'll do an additional 90 although like i said overall i'm just kind of hoping I can pump in PvE. I feel like the line between making a range class like this viable in PvP and PvE is so entirely hinged on dedicating yourself to it that it, it gets really difficult, you know what I mean? Like my melee builds, I feel like at least the ones I play are often a lot easier to kind of mix and do everything compared to some of the casters and range builds I've tried. But anyway, guys, uh, like I said, very, very fun to play with the wing clip and the compound shot, but really not enough damage. 190% weapon damage on a five point compound shot seems like it would be okay. It actually, doesn't even sound that high to me in complete honesty but the fact of the matter is i'm only doing a high end of 179 for my ranged bow damage and that's with a really good weapon so 190 percent of that is nearly double it's just it's what gonna hit like a 275 a 290 or something like that and then it's not gonna crit and it's you know gonna do 50 percent reduced damage we're looking at like a 120 and that's about what you're seeing in these clips as well so it's just not quite pumping so i really need a really good max level weapon i think to really make this start going this does worry me for single target at max it really genuinely does but we're gonna put our theory crafting caps on if you know what i mean and see what we can do but again to do that i need 36 more levels the next day so something's certainly not right um i just went through another 100 rolls and i didn't get volley offered to me or flare strike and the weird thing is I played really safe, guys. Like, I still have plenty of slots left for rares. I'm actually just super surprised. Like, I'm max level now with this build, which was a freaking journey, let me just say. And just like my demon hybrid, I feel like I got shafted. It's like all the luck I kind of had the last few weeks. They've just got to punish me for it now. I landed some pretty interesting stuff, guys. Don't get me wrong. I have Avatar and Bloodlust. And I really do like that. But outside of that, it's like, what am I doing? You know, with my 2.1k crits. I mean, I do like the AoE right there from the trick shots. You can see I'm going for the multi-shot. My next arcane shot, boom, hits everything. That's actually very powerful, it seems. It doesn't seem to work with compound shot, though. They don't say that. 
Typically, when uh, an ability transforms into another ability, it scales off all things, including enchants that would have used its predecessor. But as you can see, if I multi into the compound, it doesn't hit multiple guys. So I, they either didn't code that properly, or I'm missing something. It does work with the arcane shot like we showed, though, which is still pretty good, like I said. I also didn't get Hunter's Mark. I didn't get Aspect of the Hawk. Like, it's so insane trying to uh, nail a Ranger build. And that should probably not be the case. I mean, there's so many rares you need just to be viable. That's what I was noticing, guys. Like, I could have started with some of these things, but then I'd have to compromise on the slice and dice, and you need that for this version of the build as well. So it's pretty wonky in that regard. I am going to see if we can tailor this to PvE, though. Uh, just going to get rid of anything that has to do with PvP in this regard, and just see if we can pull halfway decent DPS. Maybe we'll end up converting this guy, obviously, into some other Agi build in a future video. So this is just a decent start, but I still want to make this work, especially because you guys have no idea how long I've been working on the demon hybrid stuff and how many prestiges I've gone through only for that one not to work. So I need some validation right now, okay? But when you're missing so many things, it's, it's gonna be difficult. All right, guys, I'm gonna put myself through the humiliation. I have 108 item level with PvP gear and crap like that on right now. I've got a uh, Wrath Tide Longbow, so it's at least a high damage bow for what I can do right now. I'm using Munitions Expert for 15% more physical damage, compound power, of course, improved steady shot for uh, just a higher chance to get more damage on my arcane and aim shots, and also so deadly aim for a 12% chance to reset the cooldown of compound shot. Now, with all that being said, uh, all of my testing so far has not only shown me horrible DPS, but DPS that is so low that I feel like builds at level 40 could do more damage. And I'm just kind of like amazed right now. I'm just going to keep DPSing and we'll like get through this, see if we get any gear and talk. But a 3.2k crit, it's certainly nothing to uh, be happy about, I feel like. I mean, uh, oh my god, that DPS, dude. Yeah, I, I literally went to current real quick. I was like, there's no way, right? Yeah, that is that is actually how low my damage is am i an intellect no I'm, I'm actually so confused you would think like even if i spammed frostbolt and i did one rank before the max rank right now and i had 60 item level i would do probably the same dps that i'm doing right now <laughs> like honestly uh so that says so much now i noticed while i was leveling that i felt incredibly weak i know there's like pet versions of this build i understand locust ranger and explosive shot hunter are good uh but compound shot man like how do you make this work i definitely don't want to use a pet oh wow look at that the arcane shot definitely is good after the uh, multi shot for the trick shots that's actually where things start to shine. 4K DPS. Hey, I actually didn't expect that. So I definitely need a multi-shot first though. Like that was a mistake. Okay, I did like that. But yeah, I did feel like my single target DPS was dropping and that's definitely correct. Now some stuff I did not know originally when I first read out the compound power to you guys was that compound shot actually works with a bunch of rogue talents. You can see it says relentless strikes, cut to the chase and fleet footed all work with this. Fleet footed from what I can see is a PVP talent, uh, but cut to the chase is going to reset my slice and dice when I compound shot and relentless Relentless Strikes is going to give me a little bit of energy and some armor pen when I use Compound Shot. I think that might still be worth it. We don't have the Battle Stance. We do have the Berserker Stance for crit instead. Uh, so we're not exactly perfect in that regard. But hey, this build's not exactly perfect in any regard right now. But yeah, at this point, just getting Agi gear for this character is definitely the name of the game. We're at 213 PvP power, 102 PvE. And my only PvE piece is actually from the Frost Lord Ahun Daily. And it's this cape right here, which is actually pretty good. I'll definitely take that. I guess we just lust on this so that the people that can do damage can actually do their job. I really hate this boss. He's just so... We'll go ahead and uh, do the uh, attack speed right there. He's just awful. So I want to stand still. I do more damage with the steady shot spam uh, if I stand still. And just go for those compound shots literally whenever humanly possible. So five combo points I think is still correct. Uh, but we get the combo points so quickly you can see boom. We can do another one right there. And just keep going for steady shot, arcade shot. This is what I've basically figured out so far. Now, there are ways I could use multi shot in a uh, single target scenario, but I do want to keep using trick shots. So that's a little bit of a limitation to my single target DPS as well. You would think that they wouldn't require you to have that, though, to do single target, right? With a ranger build. So maybe we can still make this work. You can see 1500 DPS, and I literally went oom. And I've got points and ways to, uh, you know, have my mana be upkept in some way. Thrill of the Hunt. A little greedy the way I've done it so far, but okay, I guess I'm gonna need more mana. Alright, Spell Power Boots. No thanks. So I guess I don't need Hawkeye if I'm doing PvE, so we could take that out. Maybe finish out Thrill of the Hunt for 100% chance to get 40% of my mana cost back from basically any of my shots. And I guess we can go a little bit in a hunting party for now as well. 66% chance to give mana regen to everybody and 2% more agi. Maybe that's gonna be enough to solve my 
of mana problems. You know, it's one of those uh, builds where we're just, you know, starting from scratch once again. Agi based, which way are we going to go? Uh, is it going to be melee hunter in the future? Will it be ranged hunter? Who knows? Uh, but at the end of the day, we just got to gear ourselves properly and learn the ropes. That's what we've got to do. I've also got the subtle limitation of, as I kind of mentioned earlier, no explosive shot is going to happen on this character. Probably, unless I somehow find a build with it that is not the exact same as the explosive shot hunters I've played before. We all know that works if you've watched or played Ascension. Explosive shot's really good if you want to play hunter, but that's about it when it comes to the hunter stuff as far as I can see. Again, the Locust Ranger is kind of a thing too. If you don't know, Locust Ranger is a snapshot build from what I can see. You want to get like really big serpent stings and stuff like that. It's very similar in my opinion to playing like Immolate caster builds, and so I feel like I would rather just play those. Like if I want to play a ranger, I want this kind of class fantasy that I have right now. I'm an elf with a bow. I got those leaves on me from that guy's heal, which is pretty nice thematically as well. And I'm just pew pewing, dude. Like that's all I want to do is pew pew. I don't want to snapshot. I want to just shoot stuff. Like the only other fantasy version for this that would be better is if I was a dwarf with a gun. That's in my opinion, that's basically it. Like blood elf to me is actually better than night elf when it comes to the archer stuff. But that's probably because I played Warcraft 3 and archers were actually a big deal for the high elves in that game. All right, there's another multi shot into the arcane shot. I, I do love that. That is sick. Arcane shot is clapping. It's actually my strongest spell right now. Also, mana problems are better. Uh, I wouldn't even call them problems anymore. More like a mild inconvenience. I'm going to be in last the entire time. At least it's 2k DPS though. I, I just want to reiterate the amount of spells that I'm missing, guys. Like, I'm missing the volley. I'm missing the flare strike just to test that, right? But then in other ways, I guess we're really seeing like where ranger builds stand right now, especially when you're first starting out. One of the things I'm super curious about is will it get really better with gear? Is it going to be one of those? Is it like uh, an old school warrior scaling uh, from like Wrath or something? Like once you first get your really big weapon, you do something. I don't know. I feel like I have a pretty decent bow, but we are missing a lot of PVE powers. So maybe that makes a bigger difference than I think. One thing I was thinking about was like, maybe this is a poisons build. Maybe you put instant poison on your ranged weapon and just go for the attack speed spam. So weirdly enough, I might end up with two potential part twos. I kind of hope not with this build, to be honest with you, but I've got to finish the demon hybrid and I've got to make sure that this guy comes out decent as well. All right. Oh, more the unscarred. Can we get some loot, man? Five minutes. I can't bloodlust. Like I said, I do want to stand still. There's a compound shot. Only a 2700 no crit compound shot. I feel like, uh, again, like a single frost bolt with no setup would do more than that with no crit. I don't even think you would need talents or a lot of AP either to make that a valid statement. But one of the things I don't like about builds that come out being like so weak, regardless of how you put the talent points in, is that there's also no incentive to play it well. So then you just really can't tell at all at a certain point. I'm gonna go for this uh, Terra Flame Dagger if I can. Damn, I didn't win, dude. It's not a good sign either. When you're already low and then you don't win any gear. Like this guy just did 6K and he's uh not even trying, man. Whirlwind, so I guess he's TG Muti, yeah. We've been down that road already. It's pretty fun. I don't wanna like title this video something negative. I don't like to do that. So I don't want to say like, is this the worst build I've literally ever played? But if I'm honest, guys, like I want to ask you guys right now, is this the worst build I have ever played? I kind of think it is like <laughs> I'm out of mana. There's no time right now to drink. I'll try to drink after this pull, I guess. But it's like so pointless. Uh, there's no damage. There's too many things that I didn't get. So there's some unluckiness with this particular character. I mean, there's just a lot of things. I don't know. Like, should I go with the new? I I've played a lot of melee hunter in the past i can't do that with this new thing i'm doing where i'm trying to play different stuff unless it was uh maybe with that new black widow strike i guess that's not entirely the same but even then i'd like to do something totally different i guess i shouldn't move right here right it doesn't matter you know what i mean like i'm gonna do no dps anyway <laughs> it's just, i can't even believe that i could use like 10 spells in a row so far and have 700 dps at max level it actually doesn't compute in my head to be so baseline weak. I am sorry, guys. I remember this from a long time ago with Ranger builds too. Like I just remember it just never computed in my head outside of explosive shot, right? Okay, so uh, this guy's dead. Did we get any loot? Will something come out of this cache that I can use? Belltooth Eviscerator. I guess technically I could go for that. Oh, Averin's Ring of Slaying. I'll definitely go for that as well. I'm just gonna need for both, man. Do we win? Anything, please. Getting our first badges of justice, by the way. Oh, I won the epic Felltooth Eviscerator. I was the only one that needed it to be fair and somebody else got the ring of course okay we'll put that on that's way better than what i had okay i'll take 22 crit 34 ap it's a start guys it's a start all right so i just got out of a group with uh look it's not even worth talking about right now guys i'm gonna re-roll this and you know what screw it the video's coming out another day late and that means the demonology demon hybrid video is probably gonna be even later but you know what 
quality over quantity, I'm gonna re-roll and get a better build, and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, so this one, I'm doing something completely different. We're gonna go call pet and go for the tame beast, and I'm gonna go with the aim shot flare, explosive trap, and over here on my lucky cards, poison volley, steady shot, multi shot. I'm going all in, guys. I wanna make this work, so I'm guaranteeing the most important parts. I, this does mean we still have to random certain things, like aspect of the hawk, for example, but it's not too bad of a start. We also have to random the uh, attack speed monitor fire from the rogue tree the slice and dice that is risky and also very scary but i can't get the pet and also get the slice and dice guaranteed what a conundrum right so okay we're gonna go for it 346 minutes later so i ended up leveling all the way up to 70 once again and it was a bit of a journey as it tends to be sometimes you get really awesome groups sometimes you just don't know what's going on but luckily at the end of the day i made it to max with only one single Blunder. Yes, my friends, I got my volley lucky card. I got my flare. I was set up for the AoE. And unfortunately, I did not get the slice and dice. It's like, I just can't win, huh? Yeah, I got the death wish, hunger for blood, skull banner, snake trap, explosive trap, hunter's mark for God's sakes, and the aspect of the hawk. I got poisons and rock biter weapon. It's literally as good as it gets for what I was theory crafting, but I did not get the one thing that makes compound shot really worth using and that is my attack speed modifier through the slice and dice. Now, from what I've seen, you can see I've got like 3.1k DPS right now, which for TBC is just not going to cut it. I was doing more week one with a hoplite build than I am currently capable of doing right now with this ranger build. Of course, only 109 item level right now because it is a whole journey just gearing up to begin with. So we've got a lot of room to bring it up through gear alone. Even if you think about 20% more damage, though, we're barely breaking 4k and that that's just not what I want. I want to do better, right? Now, the AoE is significantly better, though. So what I'm going to do is show you guys some gameplay in a moment. But I did just want to go over uh, just the journey in that regard. Ultimately, my DPS may have actually gone up by 2, 3, 4, 500 more if I had the extra attack speed from Slice and Dice. Or maybe it wouldn't matter that much at all. The thing that I'm thinking about, though, is how important is the compound shot. I mean, it's still a better version of aim shot, but with the current version of the build, I have no reason to go into the aforementioned talents that I talked to you guys about earlier in the video that we were using, like Relentless Strikes, Cut to the Chase, and Fleet Footed. Absolutely pointless. Um, I've gone into a bunch of interesting stuff right now, guys, mostly in the Hunter Tree. Improved Aspect of the Hawk for 30% attack speed, 16% attack speed from Serpent Swiftness. It's really, really solid getting a pet because you get 3% more damage from your Ferocious Inspiration, not to mention the 9% more Arcane and Steady Shot damage, which you'd be taking this for anyway. It's what you would expect, in other words, right? I mean, it's the same stuff I've been taking. Anything with Arcane Shot, uh, Efficiency, lowering the mana cost of everything, but giving me 10% more range attack speed, really like that. Marked for damage. Death. That's a bunch of damage because we do have the hunter's mark, so it's more damage because of that. And in the survival hunter tree, sniper training, so if we stand still, 12% more damage, a bunch of agi, a bunch of crit procs, uh, and that's basically the gist of it in that regard, guys. But it is a lot of attack speed. My bow right now is a 3.0, but just baseline, I've got it down to 2.4, which is pretty good because that's not the end. Like, I get all these extra procs, I go super fast. You can use poisons on one thing and rock biter on the weapon. Like I said, ultimately, this is almost a perfect build. I just need that one spell and if I show you guys my rares I played uh well maybe not so safe I mean like I was saying earlier in the video there are so many things ranger builds need and it's really hard to build it and make it work for both pvp and pve and it seems it's even hard just to make it work for one because you could see even if I were to get the slice and dice I kind of almost want every single one of these other abilities I mean actually yes 100% snake trap I guess I don't need uh, but, you know, that was also, uh, ultimately, this is not even including if you have explosive shot in your build or something like that. It's just, it's crazy how many rares you need. Epic's not too hard, though. I seemingly got what I needed every time. Even have the Skull Banner, which is so badass. I feel like the Ranger class from Koa right now, uh, which is really fun. Now, one thing you'll end up seeing in a moment is that Flare Strike is I, something I thought was going to be awful, if I'm honest with you. And it ended up being really strong. Let me show it to you guys. It flares like normal, and then after five seconds, just like this. 
Yep, see all the arrows, and then they would get hit for what seems like a 10k crit sometimes. It's actually pretty good. But all right, guys, that's the basic gist of what's been going down. Uh, I am queuing for Mythics, so we'll see if we can get more gear. I have, like I said, pulled a couple PvE pieces, but nothing crazy like this Dreamer's Dragon staff I got. Still don't know if I should dual wield or not, though. And also, like I said earlier, the cape, the Frost Lord's War Cloak. That's about it. So let's queue up and see if we can get new stuff. All right, guys, we're in Botanica, and guess what? There's a lot of loot we can actually get from this off the first and towards the end uh, on the last boss as well. I want to show you guys how this plays and uh, hopefully we pick up some good stuff along the way. So first and foremost, I'm going to make sure that I'm keeping up the steady shot basically all the time. That's going to be the bread and butter of single targets or filler uh, points of the rotation. Now, uh, when we do the next pull, I'm sure it'll be big. I can show you guys the AOE rotation. It's my favorite part of the build so far. Remember, 109 item level, all PvP gear for the most part. So anything at this point is actually kind of impressive. So, okay, Hunter's Mark. Flare Strike 2, let's show that. Into the multi shot, into the arcane shot, this should be good, into the volley, okay? And now here we go, first place DPS. And volley just randomly cancels sometimes, by the way, which is like, I don't understand. Uh, but anyway, first place DPS AOE. Go for the arcane shot there. And now everything's already starting to die. Now you'll notice compound shot doesn't come into the equation as often as you may think. It's really like kind of an underwhelming spell, compound shot is. Now I actually eliminated my mana problems with a brand new epic enchant as well. And this is arcane concentration. Arcane shot has a 30% chance to trigger arcane concentration, which then allows me to consume it with my next three damaging hunter shots to do extra arcane damage and restore 3% max mana. It's actually fascinating because I realized I was playing around with so many random hunter talents that do really bad versions of uh, like a mana regen type of talent. They're, they're just so underwhelming and low quality the hunter ones in my opinion and so then i'm like okay this is really stupid why don't i just try one epic enchant that might potentially fix all of my mana problems and it did it actually did but yeah that's actually really really big flare strike so far huge for hunters in my opinion trick shots love it and that's another reason why paratrooper might be better because i can utilize the aim shot with it because the compound doesn't work as we know and then arc game it's all freaking new dude i just randomly got to first here and i started so late it's just like insane how much aoe this pumps and that's what excites me about the build overall all right this is it i literally blew the horn so if i don't pump here and we die it's all my fault there we go with the volley Flare Strike's coming back up. I wish there was, like, a way to reduce Flare Strike's cooldown by playing my class. Like, wouldn't that be sick? Like, a multi-shot mechanic, maybe? I feel like that's what I'm missing. Because sometimes it feels like it would just be perfect if I could go for another Flare Strike. It's not like it doesn't have a five-second startup before it goes off, you know? I don't have a dedicated interrupt, and it's so depressing because it seems like nobody else ever does either. I'm pretty good with interrupting stuff. That's why I just wish I had one. Okay, there we go. All right, she's dead. Cool. There's so many people. Hey, look, he's gonna say something. He's gonna say something, dude. I know it. Need to kill the botanist. I know. Trust me, I know. I think we all know. I think all of us don't have an interrupt. And by the way, one was never offered to me, personally. But I don't know about my comrades here. I love this AoE. Holy crap. I spike so much at the beginning when there's actually a bunch of stuff to touch. It's like, the more stuff... I literally scale inevitably. Like, some of these builds out there are kind of capped, right? It might say, like, more than uh, eight targets or six targets or five targets. This is not capped at all. I just keep going. I think this might be a really good spec for M+, because the AoE is so good. And if you just want to keep pulling massively with, like, some other crazy builds, you might as well do something like this. Being range has to be better than being melee, like TG Muti, right? 5.3k. I don't know if anybody else besides me is trying to AoE these guys down, so we're just getting constantly froze. But you can see I have zero mana problems i cannot say that about previous iterations of the build i did not use arc aim concentration so i think we fixed that i think that's literally all you need finally oh my god 3.6k but there's a lot of aoe on that fight so it doesn't really count lots of random immunity in cc as well aegis of the sunbird is it beautiful yeah it's not actually that beautiful 7.6k that time it's like a range tg muti but it's just volley multi-shot with trick shots arcane shot mixed in and the flare strike it's so easy to play too you know i was actually thinking about it ascension has a lot of room to work with uh ranger builds right now i mean there's only arcane gunslinger which if you like a regular hunter build it's just not going to fit the fantasy because you have to use mage spells and uh compound power feels pretty weak deadly shot if you guys don't know let me show you guys this this used to be epic i remember i 
I literally made a build around this when deadly aim impact. Dude, I was going back to find that old ranger video that I was alluding to in a previous clip and... <laughs> I literally asked you guys, is this the worst build I've ever played in 2019? Three years ago, I thought that this kind of ranger build was the worst I ever played, and it hasn't changed. Uh, when it was actually a legendary, it's an epic now, your ranged auto shots have a 12% chance to reset the cooldown of aim shot and increase its damage by 30% for 6 seconds. It doesn't work with arcane gunslinger, uh, not too wonderful I think with compound shot outside of maybe PvP. It's just like weird. It's weird to me because this used to be the legendary enchant for my type of hunter, and now there just isn't one. <laughs> because it was demoted to epic status, now they just never added a new one I guess. This Clip. I was AFK editing and I was attacked out of nowhere. Uh, sorry if there's a slight bit of choppiness to it, but I had to close multiple programs um, so that I could begin recording this. But I basically was attacked out of nowhere by somebody and despite the huge advantage of the element of surprise, they got absolutely just like wrecked. I mean, they got their cheeks clapped. There was nothing they could do, and it was brutal. It was brutal. It's just something to think about. You know, it doesn't always have to be cross-class or something like that. Sometimes you just need something that just allows your playstyle to be viable, you know what I mean? Which, in my case, steady shot, arcane shot, maybe aim shot thrown in there. I'm actually surprised. I don't think there's anything with chimera shot. I really want that to not be true. Oh, but it is true. I think expunge was yet another thing that used to be legendary, but now it's not. So there's so much room with Marksman Hunter and maybe even like range-based survival. It really makes you think. I'm actually very curious what the next legendary enchants are going to be because they've already been working on a bunch. There was a lot of them that they took off the market, by the way, if you guys don't know, like Cauterizing Flames. But that's not the only one because they're reworking them, right? So, hey, we might be getting some cool stuff very, very soon. I can't wait to play it, to be honest with you. But right now, I'm in Architraz. At the last boss, I'm not getting as many of the exciting dungeons. Like, I want to get more Shattered Halls because I've just not played it very much recently. But for the most part, it's been uh, no loot and the same Botanica Architraz kind of dungeon uh, sphere, right? I'll be honest with you guys, 3k DPS single target is like the best I've done with this compound power build so far. And uh, AoE, it can go all the way up to 10k once again, depending on pull. But like the standard AoE, anywhere from 4 to 5, 6k, depending on, uh, again, how many mobs. I think the best part about this, though, is that eventually we're going to unlock the ability to try a bunch of really overpowered ranger builds like i was just looking at arcane concentration again and that's so clearly made for arcane gunslinger even though i don't love using arcane missiles with my range build it's just like pretty convoluted to me i can admit that like for example this other guy he's playing it right now and he's doing a lot of dps so even though he's a mage and you can see him right there he's so clearly not a hunter he's a mage it's probably still a million times stronger than the compound power build that makes you feel like a hunter right so it's worthy of trying since we've never tried it on the channel outside of like small reviews when it was first coming out. I'm sure there have to be other things that we can use Agi with as well. We'll figure it out. All right, do we get loot off this boss? I really hope so. Nope. Yeah, no, literally nothing dropped that I could use. I'm kind of glad that I basically AFK'd this boss, to be real with you guys. This is getting out of hand, man. Like, I've noticed with this expansion, like, I have to queue so much and I don't get anything. You can't take people's time away. I think we're all getting wiser in real life now, right? Like, there aren't many of us left that are still pretending this is actually how games have to be. As far as I'm concerned, if I do five mythic dungeons and don't even get one piece of gear, or maybe that's all I get is one piece of gear, that's inappropriate. There, you know, there's some effery there where they're trying to keep you around through um weird ways you know it's like sink cost fallacy got to keep on grinding right got to get everything and you're not even playing the game yet meanwhile you're still in testing mode getting stomped by meta builds i know ascension is balancing things you know little by little but i've not really seen anything big enough to matter in my opinion i think they're really just working on season eight or nine i think is it right now because it's supposed to be the literal biggest season of all time plus they've got koa level 60 and stuff like that which is going to be crazy so i'm not like hating or anything but these are things that if we keep it up in the dialogue they'll always improve so this one guy i don't even know i don't have any clips of it or anything but i saw it last night he said you know what ascension needs to add more enchants like and then he gave his opinion one of them stood out to me though still i'm still thinking about it the next morning and that was steady shot has a chance to proc pyroblast or aka steady shot crits can proc hot streak over here in the fire mage tree no clue how balanced it would be don't really care to be honest with you i'm more of a proponent of fun because i know that ultimately they can balance everything and they should it's really 
probably not that difficult. But I keep thinking about it because I'm like, honestly, like Fire Archer, they already have Searing Arrows in the game. Like uh, Steady Shot procs Pyro Blast. They just added Pyro Shot to the game as well, which I tested it and it was very underwhelming. But maybe not with a change like that. You'd be tossing Pyros out like crazy, dude. Uh, God, come on. Is that shit doing for us? It would only have to be an epic, dude. It would only have to be an epic. But yeah, I really hope we see more legendaries for Hunter builds that maybe don't have to do with a pet. That have to do with like the traditional ranger marksman. They must have so many ideas from Koa, dude, because the Ranger class is already so interesting. It was one of the last classes we played, to be completely fair, so I don't know if many of you guys saw it. I think it only has like 25 or 30,000 views on it right now, but despite the fact that it was one of the last ones we played, it was actually one of the more fun ones we played. They definitely need to redo some of the specs. Like, one of them was really cool conceptually, but absolutely underpowered and awful in every way. But it did give you this feeling of like, okay, I, uh, I'm i actually an archer. I'm actually a marksman for once. But yeah, it's just very interesting that um, just having a pet seems right by default. One of the things I did after my second prestige, uh, or really in between the first time I played and my first prestige, is that I was looking through here and I simply typed in compound, if I can type right, compound power. Now you end up with basically three builds. There were some other ones I was looking at as well, but uh, a lot of them were using like the undead pet and stuff like that. I'm actually curious, what does this guy do? This guy's doing a very similar thing to me. He only has one point in Serpent Swiftness. What else? He has Careful Aim. I didn't go that way. He's going the whole improved poisons cut to the chase route. Possibly improved poisons feels really good. He even has the Berserker Stance I was using originally. Didn't end up getting that again. Only one point in Sniper Training. Does he say how much DPS? Here's the thing, guys. If you're ever going to put a build up here, just my opinion, but I think it'd be really good to standardize this. Always put how much DPS it does if it's a DPS PvE spec. Always. That way people know, okay, it, it's supposed to do about this much DPS. So if I pick up that guy's build and I try it, I should be around this area. If I'm not around this area, I know that I'm playing his build wrong. All right, Skull Banner, my favorite part. There's something about being an elf and dropping a banner that gives me crit and then just going hard with my bow and arrow that definitely fits the class fantasy give me a legendary enchant please that has something to do with physical damage ranger you know play styles just please that's not compound shot because you've made it impossible to roll this on the random game mode. Like, you have to be so lucky, dude. My Fire Mage guy, who is now the Demon Hybrid, he's so geared right now compared to all of my other alts. Because it's just like a never-ending stream of just simply free intellect caster loot all the time. And I thought it was going to be the same thing, by the way, for Agi Gear, But I'm so tiny. Uh, but no, alas, uh, not that lucky, dude. All damage dealt reduced by 66%. All right, man, come on. Will we get any loot from the Mechanar this time? I really hope so. I don't get to do a lot of Mechanar. I'm curious. It's just the last guy, and I'm looking at him right now. And other than this Haste Trinket, the Abacus of Violet Odds, which is fine for my build, but not particularly amazing. There's really nothing good off him for me. 6k crit compound shot. Okay, I guess that's the best I can do so far. And guards of the steady. That wasn't even an Atlas loot, man. And the abacus dropped. Well, at least I have multiple things to roll for, but I would really like to get those gloves, dude. It's so much better than my PvP Waste Wander. It's literally built for me with the intellect and everything. 54 AP. God, I hope we win. I did win. Oh my god. And I won the abacus. Guys, it was worth it. It was worth it. Yeah, I'll definitely take that. I mean, that's so big for me right now. It's just the little bit of dopamine and just like happy positivity that I needed. Something good. It's like my, I don't know how many, let's see how many I've done. I can count by the badges. 19 badges. You get three to four per dungeon, probably four on average. That means, yeah, about five dungeons and I finally got one piece of loot. Okay, I got two actually. I'll take it. That's fine. It only took five or six hours, but whatever. We got it. Okay, so let's go ahead and put uh, improved steady shot. I'll probably still put this build in my discord, but I'm going to give you the caveat that it's just not finished yet. I still think we can do better, but if you want to work on it, it's not a bad place to start. It's literally no worse than I think of any of the other builds in the hero architect right now. So it's like a pick your poison type of thing, but okay, let's see. Do they look Look cool i doubt it but do they let's see oh they're okay they're just normal black stuff okay i'll take that and then we can go ahead and put the abacus on i guess more haste is not too bad with this build but i guess i want more crit ultimately so okay let's keep queuing and see if we can get more stuff okay i wasn't going to complain about pikachu builds again but this guy did one earth shock for thirty six thousand damage two for 65k and i had to point it out imagine just earth shocking just earth shocking for thirty six thousand casually uh no cooldowns popped or nothing just clearing trash i i just can't even man i'm happy with a 6k compound shot with this build and by the way this guy doesn't have any gear no offense to him he's in the gearing process it makes perfect sense but he's more normal man it's all pve at least but it's more normal dude he probably has like 114 item level 
It's insane. It's actually crazy. I saw a literal level 68 piece of gear on him. Meanwhile, he's doing 9.2k DPS. Me and the other DPS, I mean, based on this alone, are just like, yeah, we'll just AFK and let this guy do everything. You could literally kill this freaking dungeon if you want to say it like that faster with just this one guy's build. I'm gonna ask him his item level. Then if there were three of me on this team, that's what I was gonna say. Three of me with this build versus one chicken boy uh, with a Pikachu build and it's just no contest. He's, dude, I'm so good at guessing. I said 114, he had 115. I mean, come on. You gotta give me a margin of error and it's still impressive, okay? It's, it's kind of something I'm not happy to be good at though because I'm only good at it because I, I do it for myself. Like if I'm in PvP, for example, I need to know. Or even PvE, like I just did. Why am I losing to this guy? Is it because they're really good? Is it because their build is sleeper? Or is it because of gear? You have to pinpoint it, or you're just like I said in a previous video like a week ago, you're gonna set yourself up for uh, mental illness, man. It's a recipe for mental illness to compare yourself to people with advantages over you that you can't control. That goes for real life too, man. All right, we're almost done. Going to the last boss, still getting carried by the Pikachu build. It, it kind of takes out your incentive to play as well. You know what I mean? Like ultimately nothing I do matters. 9.6K casually, dude. Holy crap, 134,000 damage with four earth shocks. It's like, whoa, look at this freaking DPS. I can't take my eyes off it. it. I'm not even DPSing. I'm just watching in awe with a 115 item level chicken boy with a level 68 piece of gear. Just like does DPS that is actually top freaking tier. One thing I'm actually thinking about is like, how much do I need trick shots, right? Like maybe I do go for the multi brush thingy with my uh, multi shot and just use it single target and get rid of the trick shots and just use Arcane Concentration, Flare Strike, and Volley. Okay, more uh, caster crap, caster crap, caster crap. I'm telling you, dude. Entire dungeon, zero gear, all caster crap. At least I got a 59 second Warlord Calithresh kill. Thank you to the chicken boy. Dude, I'm chock full of ideas today. You know what another good idea for an epic enchant would be for hunters? Make it to where Arcane Shot does physical damage. Yeah, and then you could play Martial Crescendo with multi-shot and steady shot and all that, and it would just be much more consistent and fun. Okay, so I did just get Focused Burst, which we We've talked about this makes multi shot single target oriented which means my aoe is just going to be this and after the flare strike i'm just going to spam volley i think we fixed our mana problem so you can see the aoe dps right here and i would just keep going for the volley after that that's all i've got after the flare strike i have 9.4k aoe off that flare strike i'm telling you it's still not bad Okay, it's not chicken boy status, but it's like, okay, I can have fun with this status. All right, now we go hard on the dummy and see what we can do. Um, I, I don't want to mess up the start, but I, admittedly, I really don't know exactly which way to go with it right now. But I'm going to drop a war banner and just start sending my pet in there. We'll go for the flare strike. It's going to hit another target, so I apologize for that, guys. It's not perfect. Death wish. All right, there we go. The multi-shot. It's interesting. I guess I got to increase the projectiles on it, right? Because if I increase the projectiles with some more random enchants, it'll do more damage. I did just want to test it where we've got it right now, though. Yeah, you can see, like, it's still better than not using it. I'm 3.3k. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me go ahead and get that enchant I was talking about to increase the projectiles. Okay, so let's see. Where is it? I know I'm not wrong about this, right? Uh, multi, multi shot. There it is. We God, it's been so long since we've tried this. Multi shot fires an additional projectile, and I just keep putting this on my gear for uh, three, basically, total. And uh, bam. Okay, let's see. I just want to try the multi shot. That's it. Let's reset this. What is multi shot doing alone? So you can see it's a longer channel now. The multi shot alone is 1500 DPS, 10k damage on the burst. I also don't have the best arrows. I just bought these from the PvP vendor real quick. I definitely need to like make that better. It's not really making that big of a difference right now. I just wanted to point it out because if I don't point it out, then one of you guys will. Yeah, guys, this is definitely a struggle. Like, I think this is still better. I think this is definitely better um, because when I popped all my cooldowns, I think 3.5k is the way. Let's go to this dummy so I don't hit any other stuff, right? Uh, just go ahead and hunters mark him and pop the uh, everything. Boom, boom, bam. Uh, let's go. Go in my pet. Go in my pretty and multi shot. Flare strike. Okay, go for the steady shot. Don't want to move. Want extra damage, 12% more damage for not moving. Like you get a freaking perk for nothing. For literally being worse at the game. I get a perk, just don't move. Okay, I'll take that. 4K DPS right now, but we're not going to be able to sustain it. <laughs> but it's like a good start, man. It really is. I'm happy. Ooh, 6.6K crit on the compound shot. Highest I've hit so far. Highest I've literally got so far. Hunger for Bloods back up. That's really good. Come on, man. Multi, multi, multi shot into the compound. Boom. Into the flare strike. Second flare strike means that we've gone one minute. No, not even close, right? Yeah, it means we've gone one minute on the dummy. So that's actually pretty fair in my opinion. Go for the focus burst. Go for the compound shot. I just did my little jiggle. Probably shouldn't. Steady shot with the abacus up now. We're going to go for another flare strike in a moment. That's the big damage. Boom. Multi shot. All right, we have uh, one more flare strike in 15 seconds. And that concludes this two minute DPS test on the dummy. 
Honestly, like, I'm still so low gear-wise. I know it's 110 item level, but it's not accurate when it's full PvP for the most part. And, uh, you know, just shoddy stuff here and there. All right, boom. We have another flare strike coming up in a moment. There it is. So this is the conclusion, guys. This is the conclusion. Will it be better than what we've been doing, which was 3k single target? Looks like 3.5k as I brought it up 500 more so far. Um, 400k damage done. I'll take that, dude. Stop auto-shotting. Holy crap. Okay, so 3.4k, 3.5k. That's not a horrible start so far for this build. Like I said, uh, you probably... I don't know, man. Like, there are so many elitists right now. Some of them say, I want 4k for a mythic. And it's like, dude, relax, please. Like, let people learn the game and get gear. Other people are 3k. I'm in more of that boat. 3 3k single target for mythics is fair especially because like i said exalted karazhan is like 5k dps single target if you could do 5k you're gonna get invited you're gonna be fine that's for ascended i think I, I, obviously if you're doing ascended you'd prefer everybody's on an ultra mega uh meta build doing 8k dps but i'm talking about doable without that much frustration right so heroic is super easy by the way as well like maybe again like 4k 3k even you don't need that much man i don't know when gruel and stuff's coming out i don't think it's out yet uh because i feel like i would have heard about people doing it in the ascension chat you know pugs happen immediately on ascension it's one of the best parts of ascension that you can actually pug everything and it's normal but i'm really just looking forward to that stuff dude i'm also looking forward to this okay nice guys archery belt of the broken sounds like it was made for me and yeah okay i'm taking a bit of a stat hit but it's pve gear it's proper so we're gonna go for it for sure so i was doing 50 percent reduced damage on this boss because the tank is actually new to ascension i believe he said this is the first time he's done slave pens in 10 years so okay awesome to you dude uh but he uh kept us near the totems and he was taking 50 percent reduced damage so it's like artificially low am i not gonna win this oh i did win thank god dude all right yet another good item we can start using very soon once we uh, get out of this dungeon we can put the enchant on it and it'll be good to go getting hit capped doesn't seem like it's too bad i'm not even quite there yet but i'm very close unfortunately removing that belt does hurt me with that but you know it's part of the gearing process dude i just realized they got me ascension got me again i swear to god i never clicked off mythics but it keeps defaulting me to heroics i don't notice right after a dungeon that was a mythic i queue and then before i know it i'm getting garbage loot all right guys i left that i can't do more heroic loot like that's just completely pointless at this point listen we're already really deep in this video guys so uh yeah we're gonna go ahead and end it and uh what i will say is we'll go ahead and do the giveaway from the last video and then uh we'll go ahead and close it off and you can expect the demon hybrid is almost certainly the next video i've got to get the part two out for that one where hopefully we can jump on the intellect guy and do big dps but i think now we've actually set ourselves up for success because in the future now all the agi builds i want to try and they're probably going to be coming sooner than later i can actually begin on and actually i'm at a little bit of a head start with the gear that we farm so far so i'm really happy about that all right guys a very generous super chat from the last video from tanjiro pro he gives me 50 bucks dude thank you so much he said thank you for your videos man really do make my day i don't play ascension but i do find the builds very interesting and cool to watch and by the way that's actually a lot of people dude so don't feel weird like a lot of people just watch and they don't play at all and i don't blame them i do it for a few games myself runescape for example okay he also says as for the retail question from last time i usually play pvp mostly with a friend 2v2s are my favorite if you did do some videos on it uh like you said would you pvp and what class do you think you'd give a try yeah i think that'd be the only reason i'd play dragonflight to be honest with you uh because i think that pvp in retail is still more skillful than pvp in ascension because you can still memorize classes and matchups and that's the actual skill and then mechanics actually matter more because you know what you're up against and uh, it's just a whole different dynamic but ascension eliminates a lot of the traditional skill parts of pvp from the uh, at least structured equation you know uh which is you know fine because i think to me ascension is a fun game it's a game to play pvp purely casually for fun but hey okay anyway what would i play if i were to do pvp well that's a really hard question dude i'm an altaholic but retail doesn't let me level fast and so that typically lets me burn out that's the problem i have with retail in many ways ascension lets me make like 50 different characters i can constantly prestige and that's just a big deal for me because i, I just i guess i got a little bit of a zoomer brain in there somewhere i want to keep going it used to be that i would play really slowly once upon a time but maybe i've burned myself out on that so i don't also want to just keep giving blizzard 60 dollars for a boost it just feels wrong i barely want to play the game because of the company i think we all can agree with that it's not even being political or anything it's just come on now like make better decisions and be better humans but if i were to play the game for nostalgia purposes solely just to play it right 
uh, and just give the bare minimum, it, yeah, it takes a lot out of you real quick to just level in a really boring way all the way up to max seven or eight times to get every class, you know what I mean? Or actually at this point, it's like 10 or 11 times, right? And that's how I want to play. Like whenever I played retail for real, I played every single class, literally had all of them almost at max. Maybe it'd be like 85% uh, of them. I typically skip priest. Anyway, I think paladin or rogue, just to make it short. Thank you, dude. I really appreciate it. Okay, guys, giveaway. Let's pick the winner. It's already already ready to go. And uh, okay, bam. Chadvik, great video. Wicktastic is the name. Can't wait for part two. Okay, well, hey, part two's coming soon, my friend. And I hope that in the meantime, you can get a little bit of happiness out of this little supporter pack. Let's go ahead and send it to you. Okay, guys, we're on the baller. And I do just want to say, uh, I'm probably not going to be doing a giveaway for this video. So don't go ahead and put your name in the comments section below and all that but uh if you want to send me anything we just did 12 in a row to be fair uh but if you want to send me anything uh that i can do as a giveaway and uh only for a giveaway you can send it to laballer <laughs> right here and i guarantee you there will be no scammery it'll go straight to the community so if you want to give back to the community in a random way that's a really good way to do it i think because i reach a lot of people that play this game but okay guys wicktastic okay i spelled it right necromancer supporters chest congratulations man i hope you enjoy this supporters pack while you wait for part two. Love McDoubles. There you go, buddy. Enjoy. GG, man. But all right, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. McDoubles out.